Good afternoon. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon or good morning, depend on where you are. We are 4 a.m. in Guangzhou, China. I'm Chloe, the webinar host today. We will talk about mobile mapping system, which is not easy, but important new technology used in many applications. Uh, today's topic cover includes project overview the background of highway in India, the preparation before collection, data collection and processing. The, res the results show the second part conclude high target mobile mapping system, NNS introduction, typical application and core advantage. It will go well when we have time for questions. If you get questions, Presenter will address your question today or after webinar by hours or some other measures. Uh, all right, let's get into it. Welcome, our presenter, Ray Ma. Welcome. Hello, everyone. This is Rick from High Target. I'm in charge of laser scanner product. Uh, for an uh, international market. Today, I will give you a presentation and highway case about high target mobile mapping system. So, welcome to this webinar, which topic is mobile mapping system for highway reconstruction and expansion. Last month, um, we already have had a road show in India for one month by our High Accuracy Mobile Mapping System, High Scan S. Today, I will give you a real case study which we did in India and give you a sim simple introduction about our mobile mapping system devices. Let's start. I will divide into three parts to do the, this webinar. Firstly, I will compare the traditional measurement to MMS measurement and show you how the MMS efficient is. Next, give you the real case study we did in India and finally introduce our high target mobile mapping system. This is the first part, traditional measurement and MMS measurement comparison. As is known to all that total station and GNSS receiver are still the mainstream devices in serving and mapping. And RTK is the most popular right now. However, we use the total station and RTK to collect data point by point. When we have a large scale project, it will be a hard work for the field work. However, the uh, laser scanner can make the large field work to be easy and simple. It can collect almost 1 million points per second and collect all element data. And you can use those points to do everything. We can see the comparison in this form. For RTK, uh, mostly we can collect 5 kilometers data one day and uh, maybe you can uh, collect 1500 points uh, one day it's all the feature points not not all the element data but for the laser scan and the mobile mapping system you can collect 100 kilometers one day 
and you get the not just the point. It's the point cloud. It includes all of all, all, all the things, everything. It can uh, you can uh, extract the points, lines, and you can also get the image. You can also get the trajectory of our the road. So for this, there's no doubt that the mobile mapping system measurement is better than the traditional measurement in every condition. So this is new technology. You have to admit that the new technology is advanced. This is our comparison between the tradition uh, and the uh, new technology. So the next part is our real case. The projects overview and the mobile mapping system workflow. This is a follow chart for process from field work to result. You know, we get the absolute coordinate and attitude through the GNSS device and IMU. And we also use the laser devices and a panoramic camera to get the point cloud data and the panoramic pictures. When we get the, this road date and the, our uh, position information, we combine these two parts and uh, through the basic post processing, get the panoramic pictures and the point cloud data. And through the uh, deep post processing, we get the results like the uh, real view, virtual 3D, and the topography. You can also get the uh, 3D modeling and any other things. So this is the follow chart for our MMS. Let's get, uh, let's start our the project. The, this project uh, is in the India and uh, this highway reconstruction uh, is in east of Delhi, uh, which uh, where is the capital of India. And uh, uh, this is an old one with rugged road surface. And uh, we got some information about highway reconstruction in India. They need absolute accuracy less than two centimeters. So we use our high accuracy high scan S to do this project. But some preparation before collection we need to do. First, if you want to have high accuracy, you need to collect some control points about every 250 meters for one control point. And the accuracy of control points is must less than two centimeter. Maybe you want to know the function of control points. There are two reasons for that. One is to verify the accuracy of point cloud. The other one is if the accuracy of point cloud is not very good, we can use control points to do some calculation in software to correct the error of the accuracy. And when we finished our uh, control points collection, of course, we need to set up base station and the base station can cover 30 kilometers range because we use the PPK to uh, post-process the uh, raw data with our base station data. So uh, let's start our data collection. This is uh, uh, two pictures we took in India. This, uh, this is a condition uh, we collection the, about our collection. You can see the road is rugged. So uh, our mobile mapping system uh, is very uh, suited for this road. And uh, our logging software is very easy to operate that. 
So while we uh, finished our data collection, we need to do some pre-processing. First one is post solution. You know, post uh, date includes uh, three parts: the GNSS uh, data, IMA data, and the base station data. Uh, we use our uh, software to calculate that. And uh, uh, IMU and the GSS data and the base station data. Then we combine the position date with row point cloud date. And we can get the point cloud date. And this picture is our high accuracy, high density point cloud date. You can see the point cloud is very clear. You can also see the uh, up the, that highway. So we get the point cloud date. But you, you maybe know how should we know the accuracy of this point cloud. So this is our control point, the function. Just to import the control points coordinates and choose points in the corresponding location and do the comparison. Get the accuracy verification report. This one, sorry, this one is the accuracy verification report. And you can see the point cloud coordinate we pick up in our uh, point cloud and the control point coordinate and the comparison, the final one's comparison. You can also see the uh, standard deviation is very good. So this, uh, because this road is very open arrow, so without correction, we can get the good accuracy point cloud. But if you, uh, if you are collected errors, not very open, and so the accuracy of point cloud is not, it will be not very good. So we need some the uh, elevation correction with our control points. This video will show you how to get the uh, how to correct the error of the elevation. Import our control point coordinates and display that. This is our control point and the and the, the uh, point cloud. You can see the elevation has some error. So we need to uh, automatically, automatically to search the point and do the elevation correction. It's already the uh, corrected the elevation. It's very easy to operate the, uh, this software to do that thing. It's already uh, corrected. So we can see the result. It's matching. You can see the control point uh, and the, our point cloud, the elevation is matching. This is the other, uh, other uh, location. So uh, this, uh, when we finished our the accuracy correction, we get the high accuracy point cloud data. When we, uh, when we get the high accuracy point cloud data, we need to use this data to uh, extract the, our result data. This, is, uh, this video is show you how to extract the cross section. You know, for the highway uh, reconstruction and expansion, the two results is necessary. Cross and vertical section and feature points and lines. 
This video will show you how to extract the cross section. Load the our uh, point cloud data. You can see the point cloud is very clear and a uh, lot of the uh, plugin. Analyze the road cross section. And extract the uh, cross section feature lines. And save the feature lines. You can see this is our uh, cross section. So when we finished our uh, extraction, we can get the this result, the cross and the vertical section, and the feature points and lines. So this is all process from field work to the process and to the result. So next, I will give you uh, some simple introduction about our software. This is a uh, login software. Uh, this is a very easy to operate it. To collect the GNSS, IMU, laser scanner, and uh, camera data. Uh, it's very easy for operation. You can operate by yourself just through one time training. And 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 next one is uh, inertial explore. Uh, this is uh, this one called we call the IE to process the uh, raw GNSS IMU and the basis data, output IMU's trajectory data. This uh, software is not ours. It is Novatel software. Uh, because our IMU uh, is Novatia software, so uh, we have to use this software to calculate the IMU data. Next one is HD data combine. We uh, use this software to merge trajectory data and row point cloud data, so we can get the the have uh, the point cloud data with the position information. We also use this software to uh, convert and correct coordinates and generate final point cloud with less XYZ format. Also, you can uh, use this software to uh, do the absolute accuracy verification. We also can uh, use this software to correct the uh, elevation by the control points. This one is our uh, main software. It's uh, mix HD scene. We call this software is to mix the images and the point cloud matching as a geo reference of objects. And you also can do some uh, flattering editing and the view point clouds, measure uh, reflective objects through point clouds, extract points coordinates from point cloud also generate the DM. We can also use this uh, software with the AutoCAD to extract some uh, uh, any other information by use our point cloud data. This is our HDC. So uh, when we finished our uh, software introduction. I can show you some pictures about our iScan S mobile mapping systems point cloud data. This one uh, point cloud data uh, is uh, the we did the, in the Chinese market project. You know uh, we have many experience in Chinese market uh, about, uh, like the transportation project and the street view project and any other project. 
This one is the highway project. This one is also the highway project. You can see the uh, pavement, mar pavement marking is very clear. You can also see the uh, transport board is also very clear. This one uh, as well. The pavement marking is very clear. You can uh, recognize that. This one also the uh, highway point cloud beta. This is a digital uh, elevation model. We generate that uh, by our HD scene. It's, you can see it's very beautiful. This one is also the uh, render date DM results. It's also uh, be generated by our uh, software HD scene. So when we get uh, the point cloud date, you know we also uh, we uh, just uh, uh, supply software up to the point cloud data. So when we get the high accuracy point cloud data, we need to get the results to do the project. So we can use AutoCAD, ArcGIS, uh, 3D Max to do some deep processing like drawing, mapping, and modeling. This one is we uh, use our HD scene with the AutoCAD to do the road alignment. This one is also the HD scene with the uh, AutoCAD to do this job to uh, join the uh, road alignment. This one is a cross section. Uh, this uh, the video we show you that is this one too. But you need to use the uh, AutoCAD to do this one. This job. This one is the classification results. Let's also uh, use the AutoCAD. Uh, if you have any other uh, software to import the uh, point cloud data in the AutoCAD, you can get the uh, all, all the element data. You can get the classification to join it. This, this classification results uh, of processed data uh, in Arc ArcGIS. So uh, this one's contouring lines. It's also uh, with date in the AutoCAD. When I finished, uh, this is all the process from the uh, about our project overview. So the final part, I will give you a simple introduction about high target mobile mapping system. What we have, data scanner. So firstly, I will uh, tell you what is the mobile mapping system. So the mobile map system uh, is, can divide into the uh, several parts. The scanner, the IMU, and the GNSS antenna. Of course, we have the uh, panoramic camera. These four parts is the main parts of the mobile mapping system. Uh, you can also see the cooling system, power uh, control system. It's uh, assistant uh, parts the com connector and the scenic control system. This is a high target mobile mapping system with uh, laser scanners, inertial measurement uh, unit, distance measurement instrument or platform to acquire accurate and process special data. Mobile mapping system is changing the way of serving and mapping. The first uh, picture is our high scan S. This is our high accuracy MMS, which we uh, do the road show in India. And the second one is uh, high scan C. About high scan C, we have two types. 
how you can see SU1 and how you can see SU2. Uh, how you can see laser scanner is this uh, homegrown laser scanner, so it has the high cost performance. And the third one is the high scan steam. Uh, the high scan steam uh, told you that uh, if you have the terrestrial scanner and you cannot use that, uh, you, you cannot do that. We can help you to upgrade the terrestrial laser scanner to mobile mapping system, so that you can use the this to do uh, many projects. This is a high scan S high accuracy mobile mapping system. Mm. This uh, have three features up and down. Uh, it's uh, maybe the uh, high scan S is the uh, the weight is the thirty five kilograms. You know, for the Leica uh, Pixels two, it is the weight. The that uh, their weight is the sixty kilograms. So it's very heavy, and our Haskin S also can get the high accuracy and the high density point cloud data. This one is a high scan S mobile mapping system technical specification. The max measuring range is the uh, one one nine meters for both sides. Because uh, our, uh, our high scan S configured the Z plus F laser scanner. This laser scanner is the face laser scanner, not a post laser scanner. The face scanner uh, is the high accuracy, but the range is not very long. So uh, we get so you can see the range is just uh, 120 meters. And the scanning frequency is one million points every second. It's just a single scanner, so it is the high density uh, point cloud data. And uh, you can see the uh, panoramic resolution is uh, thirty million pixels. And it's uh, we config our Haskin has configured the Leibach five cameras. Uh, absolute accuracy up to one to two centimeter. You know, for the mobile mapping system, just uh, the Leica Pixels two configured D plus F nine zero one two laser scanner can compare with our this type Hashkin S. So uh, other brands mobile mapping system is not can not good like this one. This one is uh, Haskin C mobile mapping system. Uh, the first one is Haskin C SU1, and the, the second one is uh, Haskin C SU2. Uh, SU1 is uh, configured the sing single scanner, and the SU2 configured the uh, dual scanners. Why why did I say that uh, this uh, Haskin C has uh, High cost performance because this uh, laser scanner made by High Target is our homegrown, homegrown laser scanner. Our company is first manufacturer in China to produce the laser scanner. This is the High Scan C uh, mobile mapping system main specification. So the max marine range is 500 meters for both sides, because our uh, uh, scanner is the uh, post scanner, so the range is a little bit longer. The scanning frequency, you can see the uh, single single one is 500 thousand points every second, and the dual one is the one million points every second. Uh, this our our Haskin C also configured the Ladybug 5 camera and absolute accuracy uh, up to 5 cm. So Haskin C cannot uh, do the highway project, but we can uh, do that. 
uh, other uh, application. As you can see, configure the uh, Novartis QVH1775 uh, IMU. So it's the high accuracy IMU. This is our uh, what we uh, supply uh, to international market about our uh, mobile mapping system. So uh, expect the highway uh, reconstruction. We can also do the uh, street view, internet pan uh, internet panorama, and we can also use uh, digital landscape, digital the city management. Uh, we can see uh, we can see that uh, uh, the traditional devices can can do things. The mobile map mapping system can do that. And uh, but if the three D modeling, the traditional devices cannot do that. So I think mobile mapping system is can do anything. So this is our webinar today. Thank you. Mm, thanks. Thanks, thanks Greg. Greg. Uh, uh, we still got some time for questions. If anyone has questions, you can ask here. Uh, Rick will, will address your question today or, uh, or, or by emails and send to, and send to high target at cn.com. Mm. All right, let's get into it. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello, can, can you hear me? me? Yes, yeah. can you hear you? Oh, uh, okay, I've got some questions. Can I ask Rick about, about this? Yes, uh, yes, so please. The, uh, so the first question is that, uh, do you de develop terrestrial laser scanner? Yes, we have. Uh, and when will you, will you launch your terrestrial laser scanner? Okay, uh, uh, I have, uh, we have the laser, uh, terrestrial laser scanner. And uh, I, we will push out our terrestrial laser scanner uh, in international markets uh, next year. And our uh, terrestrial laser scanner is uh, uh, with uh, configure our homegrown laser scanner. It's very simple and had uh, a high cost performance. Uh, okay, I like this simple and strong one. So, if you launch it, please tell me about it. It's very important. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, it's all. Thank you for your reply. Thank you, Mr. Adami, for your questions. Uh, anyone has got questions, you can ask right here. If there is nothing else, uh, we'll have our board time. We'll, if you don't mind, we'll appreciate if you could take one minute to complete a quick poll for us, which will help us provide better audience experience and in content design and organization aspect.
thank you for your answers. Uh, thank everyone to support us. And thank you, Rick. And thank you again. See you next time.